Now, we know in this case, total number of heads resulting. We call this a sample count. It's x1 plus x2 plus all the way up to x100. And by centrally means zero, when sample size is large enough, okay? Sample count or sample total, they both follow normal, normal distribution. And the center of the normal distribution is EV count. EV count is average of the box times n, number of drawers. Average of the box is one half. Number of drawers is 100. So one half times 100. This gives what? 50. When you flip a failed coin 100 times, we expect to see 50 heads. That makes sense, okay? And what's the probability we're looking for? We look for what? The sample count is between 45 and 55. From 45 to 55, okay? In order to find the size of the shady area, we need to standardize what? X, or you standardize sample count. How we standardize something? Well, the variable subtract by its what? Average divided by standard deviation. Is that okay? So EVX is what? Well, X is count, right? EVX is EV count. SEX is SE count. So that is X, what's EV count? Is what, 50, am I correct? This is what we just found, 50. So X minus 50, what's SE count? Five, we calculated this before, right? So SE count is what? Is five, okay? So after I standardize it, X subtract by its mean divided by standard deviation, we convert to z score. That means standard normal. Well, 45, you subtract by 50, divided by five, that's minus one. In 55, you subtract by 50, divided by five, is one. So X between 45 and 55 convert to z score between minus one and one. Is that okay? So you look for what? Probability does z score between minus one and one. And what do you know about 68, 95, 99.7? It says one sigma within the center cover about 68% in a normal curve. Is that okay? So the answer we're looking for is roughly what? 68%, okay? This is what we call centrally mean zero.